everybody. Hi, we're back. Again. <laughs> <laughs> this time we had the opportunity to go to the Action on Film Festival, and we actually had some friends whose films were in them, and so it was really cool to go and watch everyone's films and participate and go on the red carpet and do all that fun stuff. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't quite sure what the Action on Film Festival was, and so I wasn't really sure how to dress. It's a film festival. Some film festivals are really glamorous. Like, people show up in, like, ball gowns, That's right? True. That's and then true. other ones, people show up wearing, like, Casual. jeans and a t-shirt. Okay, so the first day, because this was like a three-day event, so the first day that I went, I didn't even know there was going to be a red carpet. Oops. And I wore, like, the most disgusting outfit. And I Research. Re I, re I refused to walk the red carpet. I was like, you know what? I am not going to do this this festival injustice by wearing a crappy outfit on your carpet. I'll come back later because I, I went three days. So, um, so then the next time I came back, I said, you know what? I'm going to go kind of semi-casual, but I'm going to dress it up with um, really cute accessories. So that's exactly what I did. I wore kind of a gray, casual dress, but then I put on these, like, bling necklace. Wow, they look like coins. I, like, they look like money. It's Well, yeah, it's it, they are kind of like coins with diamonds on them. It, it's really fabulous. I mean, they're very, you know... Cool. And it went well because if I had worn a bling dress with that bling necklace, it would be no, too much. it'd be too much. But I actually bought this necklace thinking, okay, I'm going to wear a dress that is more calm so then that way I can show off the bling. Like, I like how she's like, oh, this with that and that. Okay, there's a lot of that going on. So then um, for the shoes, I really like these shoes. White House Black Market. They were, they just make really great red carpet, um, you know, cute shoes and stuff. And they're, they're like, really comfortable. Um, I walked around the whole neighborhood in them going from You can actually wear this shoe anywhere. Like, you yeah. can wear it casually, you totally. can wear it dressy. So I also decided to bling it up by wearing um, sparkly eye eyelashes. I like them. <laughs> Honestly, it really brings out your eyes. And, and I, I can't I can't say it enough. You guys have to work around the color of your eyes. Mm. It brought out your eyes. It matched your outfit. It matched the bling necklace. I think that you did an awesome job that day. Thank you. Last but not least, to go along with the uh, contrast of the dull with the bling, I did a bling purse. And very bright. I don't remember ever wearing this purse to a red carpet before. Um, it's vintage. And I got it like an antique wow. shop. And it's really cute. Well, I think it's interesting that you matched a vintage purse mm -hmm. that's sparkly with a blingy, with blingy jewelry and eyelashes. Yeah. I mean, as long as you keep the shoes simple and the dress simple, mm -hmm. everything else, including your makeup, could pretty much be blingy and showy. I think that, that worked out pretty well. I chose a long maxi type dress that was a tube top. I was going for the uh, Hawaiian style. Um, I didn't know that there was going to be a plant right next to me. <laughs> What's up? Okay, hold on. Let's talk about this for a second. What's up why? with some people putting plants on red carpets? Why? I don't I don't understand. know. It really... It, it doesn't make sense. I think they think it's like a decoration to make it look better. <laughs> but it just kills it. The actor or writer or director or producer are supposed to be the ones that you're showing off, not the plant yeah. that is next to them. And then when you edit it later, it, people look at the shots and they're like, oh, was that red carpet in a jungle? Like, <laughs> no, it was in it was in Pasadena in a concrete jungle. <laughs> I thought it was funny because I was going for the Hawaiian style and there was a plant there. So, yeah. you know, whatever. It worked out sometimes, well for you. Sometimes it works. Yeah. That was basically what I was going for for that day. I think it worked really well. Um, when you're in a maxi dress, Always remember to carry, when somebody's taking a picture of you, to have them hold the camera higher than normal, like, because it'll make you look thinner. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, so, only in maxi dresses or in all dresses? Well, really in all dresses, but it's it's just a trick that I use when I'm in maxi dresses, because no. I feel I'm the biggest in okay. maxi dresses, but I love them. Why do they call them maxi dresses? I don't know. Is that like a maxi pad? No! <laughs> It's such a weird word. Remember when the iPad came out? People were like, oh, iPad, it's like a pad. And you're like, what? Sometimes I don't understand. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really, Anyways. really sorry. Anyways. Let's get back to the red carpet okay, so back to red carpet. style. I also um, decided to wear um, beige shoes because beige really matches anything and everything. 
So I need. I the, think they're really cute. I love them. They're be- like they're sexy. S- they're very very. Like about the little straps and everything. It's hard to have the maxi dress follow me on the floor and have it get dirty with everybody around, you know. Um, so I that's what I wear are heels. But some people that have maxi dresses that only go up to the ankle, they can get away with really nice sandals. Mm. I'm sure that there are better shoes out there that might look better with that dress. I think but, it looks great. I mean, I think, I think it, I like it, it. it comes right to that. You didn't have to hem it. You didn't have to do anything. If you no. had worn flats, it would have been like, yeah. you would have had to take your dress It just, everything. it looks messy when you're mm-hmm. on the red carpet and something's dragging on the floor. When you're at the Oscars and you see the Oscars and somebody's dress is dragging on the floor, it's more, you know, it's a movie star. You know it's kind of like, you know, supposed to be that way, mm-hmm. but... Totally. But when it's somebody that's just like us, who are just fabulous. Um, and we're not quite celebrities yet. <laughs> so you wear something to, yeah. to hike up the dress. My tip of the day is don't worry what other people are wearing on the carpet. Come however you feel comfortable in. As long as you look good, you look groomed, and it brings out your... It brings out something in you, whether it's your smile or the color of your eyes or your hair or your skin color. That's really all you have to do. Because I wore something Hawaiian, but she kind of went Hollywood glitzy glam. So you you don't have to be what everybody else is being on that carpet. You just do what you want to do. But what if it's like a Hawaiian party and someone shows up wearing like a black ball gown? I mean, you need to be considerate of who's throwing the event. You had to throw it in there, didn't I'm just you? throwing it out there because people might be watching this being like, well, I don't agree with her. So I want to <laughs> make sure to be devil's advocate sometimes and, and voice opinions of other people. What that she's really saying is just keep watching us. <laughs> we'll give you both sides. Of the all point. right, all right. What's your tip of the day? Um, my tip of the day is don't go too bling. You know, I've seen people on red carpets before that were just bling, 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 bling. Especially, you know, those really overly sparkly dresses that you see some people wear. Yeah. They, it makes you look bigger. Yeah. No, it does. That That's like a whole nother thing. It's a whole nother We'll do a whole video. nother episode with blingy dresses. But my point is, is if you're going to do a lot of bling, don't do too much bling. Because the last thing you want people being like, what's up with all the bling? You know, bling, bling, bling. And then people are like, what? Well, there's other ways to get You're not a star yet, sweetheart. (laughs) Yeah, unless you are a star, don't do too much bling because that's just weird. Yeah. So anyhow, we will see you guys next time. Bye. See you later.